Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about ultraviolet visible spectroscopy or UV visible spectroscopy. The contents of this video covers an introduction about ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, principle of UV visible spectroscopy, instrumentation of UV visible spectroscopy, steps in UV visible spectroscopy, applications of UV visible spectroscopy, advantages of UV visible spectroscopy and finally limitations of UV visible spectroscopy. Ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. UV visible spectroscopy is a technique that measures the interaction of light in the ultraviolet and visible regions of the electromagnetic spectrum with matters. This interaction can result in the absorption or scattering of light which can provide information about the molecular structure and concentration of the analyte. UV visible spectroscopy operates typically in the wavelength range of 200 nanometer to 800 nanometer and this UV visible spectroscopy is commonly used for identifying compounds, studying reaction kinetics and quantifying molecules in the solution. Principle of ultraviolet visible spectroscopy the principle of UV visible spectroscopy is based on the Beer Lambert's law, which states that the absorbance of a solution is directly proportional to the concentration of the absorbing species and the path light of the light through the solution. When a beam of light is passed through a solution containing an absorbing species, some of the light is absorbed while the rest is transmitted. The absorbance of the solution can be measured using a spectrophotometer and the concentration of the absorbing species can be calculated using the Beer Lambert's law. Instrumentation of UV visible spectroscopy. The instrumentation of UV visible spectroscopy contains five major parts. They are light source, monochromator, cuvet, detector, and finally, readout device. First, light source. Light source provides UV and visible light. Commonly, a deuterium lamp is used for UV light and it is ranging from 160 nanometer to 375 nanometer. And a tungsten lamp is used for visible light and it is ranging from 375 nanometer to 800 nanometer. Second, monochromator. The monochromator separates the light into its component wavelength and allows a specific wavelength or narrow band of wavelength to be passed through the sample. Third, cuvet. A transparent container that holds the sample is called as cuvet. Quartz cuvet are used for UV measurements, while glass or plastic cuvets are used for visible light measurements. The fourth part of the UV visible spectroscopy is detector. The detector measures the intensity of light passing through the sample. Photomultiplier tubes or photodiode arrays are commonly used as detectors. Finally, the fifth part is readout device. The readout device displays the absorbance or transmitters data in the form of a graph for digital output. Modern spectrophotometers often have computer interfaces for more advanced data analysis. Steps in ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. There are five steps. The first step is sample preparation. The sample is dissolved in a suitable solvent that does not absorb in the UV visible range. The concentration of the sample is carefully controlled to ensure the absorbance which falls within the measurable range. The second step is instrument setup. The spectrophotometer is set to the desired wavelength range of 200 nanometer to 800 nanometer depending on the nature of the analyte. The sample is placed in a cuvette, usually a quartz cuvette for UV region or glass or plastic cuvette for visible region. The third step is light source and wavelength selection. Light from a UV or visible light source, for example, deuterium and tungsten lamps, is passed through a monochromator, 
which selects a specific wavelength of light. The fourth step is measurement of absorbance. The light passes through the sample and the detector measures the intensity of the transmitted light. The absorbance at each wavelength is recorded, resulting in a spectrum that displays absorbance versus wavelength. The fifth and final step is data analysis. The absorbance maxima are determined from the spectrum in the data analysis. Beer Lambert's law can be applied to calculate the concentration of the analyte if a molar absorptee is known. Applications of ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. The first application is quantitative analysis. UV visible spectroscopy is used to determine the concentration of substances in solution by measuring their absorbance at specific wavelengths. The second application is identification of compounds. By comparing the UV visible spectrum of a sample with known reference spectra, the presence of particular compounds such as aromatic or conjugated systems can be identified. The third application is pharma industry. UV visible spectroscopy is widely used for quality control of drugs including the determination of active ingredients and detection of impurities. The fourth application is biochemistry and molecular biology. UV visible spectroscopy is used for analyzing nucleic acids like DNA and RNA and proteins. The fifth application is environmental monitoring. UV visible spectroscopy is used for detecting pollutants in water and air such as nitrates, sulfates and organic contaminants by measuring their absorbance. The sixth application is kinetics of chemical reaction. UV visible spectroscopy can monitor the progress of chemical reaction by measuring changes in absorbance over time and providing insights into reaction rates and mechanisms. The seventh application is color analysis. In industries like textiles, paints and food, UV visible spectroscopy is used to quantify color intensity and ensure consistency in products. The final and eighth application is study of complex formation. UV visible spectroscopy is used to study the formation of complexes in coordination chemistry, especially those involving transition metals which exhibit characteristic absorbance in the visible region. Advantages of ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. UV visible spectroscopy is a widely used technique in analytical chemistry due to its many advantages. Here are the key advantages of UV visible spectroscopy. Simplicity and ease of use. Wide range of applications. Fast and efficient. Non-destructive. High sensitivity. Quantitative analysis. Versatility. Minimal sample preparation. Affectable and accessible. Suitable for continuous monitoring. Compatibility with aqueous solution, widely used in drug analysis, ability to analyze complex mixes, and finally, scalable for micro and macro quantities. Overall, UV visible spectroscopy is a versatile technique with many advantages that make it a popular choice for a variety of applications. Finally, limitations of UV visible spectroscopy. Limited information on complex structures, sensitivity to sample preparation, low sensitivity for non-absorbing compounds, overlapping absorption bands, beer lambert's law deviations, influence of solvent and environment, limited to homogeneous samples, lack of specificity for complex mixes, photo degradation of samples, calibration and instrument drift, poor signal to noise ratio at low concentrations, and finally, absence of functional group identification. Dear viewers, that's all about the UV visible spectroscopy. 
Thank you for your support. Thank you.